So for 2018 SEMA show, we were able to uh, come up with a concept for Mopar that is uh, based off of a 1968 Dodge Charger, which we've affectionately called the Supercharger. It's a wide body version of that original car. And it just happens that uh, 2018 is the 50th anniversary of that car. So it's pretty special. The 68 Charger had was a standalone body design. It wasn't shared with any other brand at that time. It was something about that design at that time period that set the world on fire and took every, everybody took notice. Fast forward to today, we were able to go in and keep the, I'll say, good bones of the actual body design itself, the double diamond uh, intersecting body design, and then upsize the wheels and tires, put flares on it, uh, put some aerodynamic aids on it, the splitter, the rear spoiler, clean up the DLO or the daylight opening with the removal of the uh, drip rail, the wing vent. There's so many details as we go through the car front to rear that we were able to modernize and, and uh, simplify, but still make it recognizable as a 68 Charger. It's got a 20 inch production wheel in the front uh, Devil's Rim from the Demon. On the rear, we upsized it. We used the same design, upsized it to a 21 inch wheel and tire. We pulled the front wheel forward two inches, so it went to 119 inches. Um, the rest of the proportions we kept the same. The, the traditional hideaway headlamps in the front, um, we replaced those. We did a full width grill. Uh, design with no cut lines and then we took Challenger headlights with the, the glowing DRL rings. Uh, the whole assembly, we were able to package those into this uh, older car. Get to the rear end, we had some fun where the original 1968 had four round tail lamps. We kind of thought, what if those were exhaust? So we kind of rethought about how the tail lamp functions and repurposed some parts back there, but actually did a high-mounted exhaust outlet, which is kind of current in the world of supercars today to do high-mounted exhaust above the bumper. And so this...
uh, came to SEMA two years ago and launched our Crate Hemi program with our 345 and 392 engines. Last year we came with our 6.2 liter supercharged Hell Crate, uh, so 707 horsepower. So this year we delve back into our history books a little bit and we're bringing a 426 cubic inch engine, aluminum block, supercharged Gen 3 Hemi that produces 1,000 horsepower and 950 foot-pounds of torque, and we'd like to call it. And on top of it, we also put a big supercharger like we do on our Hellcrate engine, so we just mashed them together and we came up with the Hellifant. So this engine is going to be launched uh, and available for purchase in the beginning of the first quarter of 2019 uh, through any uh, Mopar dealer or performance wholesaler and it is available for anybody who wants to put a very extreme engine into their project car. You can really put it in anything that will fit it as long as it's uh, built before 1976 or off-road use only. That's where the Crate Hemi kit comes into play. So not only do we have the engine uh, that's available for sale, but we also have everything you need for a plug-and-play install. So the controller, the wiring harness, power distribution center, even the gas pedal. Well, with an engine this extreme, you really need to put it into a car that's going to catch some attention. And since this is the 50 year anniversary of the Dodge Charger, what better vehicle to use to put a 1000 horsepower crate engine into?